Hi guys, uh, welcome to video three here, where we're gonna do do a little bit of planning. What we're gonna do first is I'm gonna create two sheets. I'm gonna do that by clicking on the plus button down here. Say sheet two, move it to the end, add another one, sheet three. I'm gonna call sheet two, I don't know, team, team plan. And I'm gonna call sheet three, player plan. And what we're going to do with these is we're going to plan out how we want our team dashboard to look, how we want our player dashboard to look. And we can create an interaction between those two, or we can go back and forth between them by adding a button of sorts. So I'm going to cut out in a, in a second, and when I come back, there's going to be a plan filled out. At least it's my plan, and you may have your own. So this is my plan, and the way that I generally organize things is by filters and slicers, or these are the most important things to recognize when you're building something out. Because essentially, what a filter is going to be is it's going to have to be accommodated for in any equations that we write. So for me, for the team plan, a date is my only filter, which will then filter a bunch of data down up in here. And that's going to be separate from a table that I have beneath that is going to work with a couple of slicers that will will just manipulate the slicers to manipulate the information in the table for us to see what we want to see. But the date will pertain to some information up top, which is essentially a positional breakdown of categorical scores, which are aggregates of the test scores themselves. And within each of these categories, you see test selectors here. And what I want to happen is I want to be able to select the category score or the test in question uh, or a test within that category and see the positional breakdown for whatever that is. Maybe it's a bar graph. I'm not sure. And within this, within this framework, I want to be able to select a group, which will then also filter down um, these category scores. So I might want to see just the U18s or just the U20s and see that positional breakdown for tests or categories. And I also might want to just see it just for training camps or just for in-season data. And again, we'll have a date. So if we select an event type, we may be able to select a date and associate that with these numbers. Now moving on to the player plan. Again, we have filters, and I want to be able to filter this dashboard down by player, which will then, which I might want to use a group filter also so that it condenses my list of players by the group I select. Same thing, I want to be able to select my event type and my date. And that'll then organize these metrics where I have gauges for most recent scores. And I have a most recent asymmetries graph using some of that data. And then I have trends for some key metrics, which might just be a couple of metrics with up or down arrows for, for before or for their most recent versus their previous. And then maybe I want to see some tests and their changes over time, uh, regardless of any of this stuff, so that I can just see where they started and where they are now. And these test selectors allow me to select from those tests. This is a lot. I don't know how much I'll be able to do and what I won't be able to do, but we'll find out soon. Uh, in the next video, I guess we're going to start building out the team plan. 